Yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back. So I've got another uh, new gadget I'm playing with at the moment. Um, it actually comes with this connector, which I've got turned on, as you can see, I've powered it up. I've got to power it up with a powered source. It's a light source. At the moment, as you can see, it's very dark, but I will show you in a second. Um, but I find it's still slightly light, not bright enough. And it's 10 inches, it's actually a massive ring light by Elegant or Elegant, it's Giant, I think it's G-I-A-N-T at the end. But it's uh, E-L-E and then Giant, Elegant or Elegant. But anyway, um, it is today the 5th of November, bonfire night uh, in the UK. Um, so we end up setting fireworks off and all of that. Due to the, uh, was it Guy Fawkes and all that when he got um, sort of done in. Trying to uh, blow up the Houses of Parliament. So that's why we celebrate this Guy Fawkes night sort of thing going on. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to get through this uh, episode. Just a tech video sort of show you the setting. So I've got it off at the moment. Um, I'm also drinking some... Dr. Pepper Zero at the moment. Zero sugar, zero calories. Ooh. Oh, bloody hell, that's good. That's delicious, guys and girls. I've uh, got a few videos, tech videos I've been doing today as well. Um, so this is the first one. So we're going to turn this on. So it's on the lowest setting at the moment. I think there's like 11 settings. So this is one. So that's two. So as you can tell between, there's a little bit of light. That, right, so that's the first switch. That's the, the main one, that's the bottom one. And that's setting one. Then we've got two. Then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it was about 13, 13 settings. And as you can see, this is the highest one. I don't know, I mean, I'm sitting back quite a bit of a distance, uh, probably about, um, I'd say, three, two to three feet away from the subject uh, one here to me sitting here and the camera lens. Uh, I've got my iPhone attached to it as well so you guys and girls can get the benefits of it. Now, also, I've noticed there's actually different modes of settings. So, you've got that one, which is like a sort of a nice-ish white coloured. Then we've got like this sort of orangey colour. So, I mean, you can... And there's more like... Um, some more like... Uh, three different types of colours. So, that's the orangey stuff. So, that... Uh, I would say more, would that be like sunset or sun, something, I don't know, but um, I'm just testing out the the colouring on it. But that looks not too bad, actually, that's pretty good. That is not too bad at all. Actually, have I got this on dynamic range as well? Actually, I think I, did I have that on dynamic range? Uh no, uh, so auto white balance because I keep it on auto white balance so that way it doesn't change. Well, it doesn't change, it just keeps it to uh, what it thinks it's going to do. Well, that's the uh, no, actually, that is the pure white. That there is a pure white color, that is more like an orangey, st um, I'd say more orangey white. And then we just got like sort of a, a plain white, much darker white. And that one's a more brighter white. So that's a darker white. 
and that's a brighter i'd say more like a, a white bluish color tinted color so that's all the three colors there there's only three colors by the looks of it um so it's not too bad considering and then if, let's dark it down a second um so i'll get that one with the orange and then Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so eleven settings altogether. So that's the lowest. And that's the dark um the brightest. And that's the dark uh, well brightest. And then we'll go to there we go. Just showing you on and off. That's pretty cool. That's not too bad. But anyway, so I'm just trying out different light sources at the moment. Actually there was one which I'll be testing now on the next episode in a few we can find out where I just put it it's a little bit of a a light at least anyway so it should be ah so I've got one of these ones as well by newer this is an SL12 mini square led light so uh, by newer I tell you what I love these brands the brands newer they've actually made some good quality lights um, but I definitely will do that on the next episode in a few minutes but uh, I want to try and get this up to about eight minutes <laughs> But anyway, let us know if you use newer um, sort of products as well. Because um, at the moment, actually, I've got... Because um, this is basically... This is what I'm using. This is the box I've just opened up. It's called Elegant Anilo D Light. Comes with increased brightness, decreased brightness, on and off, and model set. You can attach a USB power supply from your computer host using the USB. You can do it from a laptop, mobile power, or USB charger. So that is what you get um, in the box. You get, well, you don't get the phone itself. You have to connect your um, smartphone to it. Um, I've got my iPhone to it right now. And this is the, the back of all the instructions you can pause it if you miss any information um i think this one cost me about 17 quid which is not too bad considering um which is really good uh, but um yeah i'm just gonna start like doing some various different videos I've also, if you didn't see my last video, I've also got one of these anamorphic lenses for my Marbo, mobile or smartphone, I should say. So 1.33 times, which means um, at the start of it, you can shrink it down and it's just like little, almost like a square box. It looks like more like a, um, a letterbox style um sort of ratio but then you have to go into the editing settings to stretch it back up to sort of wide i've got to try and find out how you do that I'll probably in the settings i think maybe filmic pro has that um but i will have to look into it but i wanted also this sort of to be more brighter uh but unfortunately this is the brightest ones it can can go up to but i suppose i don't know and a friend of mine was saying about it as well, about these uh, lights that uh, you can see a lot of the people's imperfections on their faces and all that. Um, 
So I might have to start wearing make, like a sort of foundation makeup and stuff on them. Uh, just to make it look good. Put some foundation on, some like sort of powder stuff on them. Um, so yeah, make myself look good. But anyway, guys and girls, stay safe. See you on the next episode, which will be in a few minutes. But it is the 5th of November 2020. We are in lockdown in the UK right now. Uh, I don't know why uh, we're locked down in Western because I don't think Western's been hit as hard as we've been all making it out and stuff and all that. I mean, obviously, we've had a few cases in Western of this virus, but it's one of those things at the end of the day. We, we're in for the long haul. And if we're going to keep locking down the country every five minutes or uh, towns every five minutes, then we ain't going to make any money. And I think the um, is it the Bank of England, I've heard somewhere they're putting £150 billion into the economy and into um, sort of people's jobs. So let me get this straight then. If you're putting it in for the jobs, um, then how come Sainsbury's have had to cut back 3,500 or something or 3,000 plus jobs um, they've had to get rid of? And make people redundant because of it. And now I've just heard they've actually closed 40 plus different um, locations of Argos now. It don't make any sense. But anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next video as well. Stay safe and see you soon.